Okay, it's that time of the year. It's time to calculate your grade. How do you do that? I'm gonna show you. Now, you know, a lot of faculty have switched to this idea of calculating grade based on points. There's so many points in the course. And, and I think that's really just a reaction to students having trouble calculating weighted averages. So I'm gonna show you how to calculate weighted averages now. Okay, so here's the situation. I made up a situation, it's not real. You have three things in your course. You have tests, it's this mass right here. See, it's, it's worth a lot. You have quizzes, it's not as much, but it's still pretty, pretty significant. And then you have a project, which is just a little bit. So these all count for different amounts. Finding the average grade is like finding the center mass for these, these three things. So let me show you, I made a little demo here. Okay, so here, is A, B, C, D, evenly spaced out. F's not on there because you don't want to get an F. Okay, so let's put these on here. So let's say I do, I get a B on the test. Or let's say it's a, it's a little bit higher than a B. And then I do really poorly on the quiz. I get a D. Okay, and then I get, I do a, a middle C right there. So then where is the center of mass for this whole thing? Is it a B or is it the average of these things? No, it's not. So it depends on both the mass and the location of these things. So this is gonna be closer to this one because it's gonna be somewhere around here because this has more weight. It's weighted higher than the other thing, so it matters more. When you calculate the center mass, it matters more. And, and we're gonna do a problem that's essentially the same thing as calculating the center mass for this system. And that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, I'm gonna use some numbers. I made up a fake course with fake grades. And I didn't even drop my courses, my grades. But they fell off the thing. Okay, so here's my course. It has a project worth 12.5%, and I got that number because that's 100 grams out of 800. That was the same weight as the thing. And then I have the quiz worth 25%, it was 200 grams. And then the test is 62.5%. And if you add these all up, you get 100%. The course should add up to 100%, unless you're not complete. Okay. And then here's what you did. You have your test average is an 82%. Your quiz is 7 out of 10. I threw that in there just to be fun. And then your project is 4 out of 5. So the grade is calculated as following. Grade is going to be equal to, um, I'll write this out in a simple way. Okay. It's going to be the weight of the test times your test average plus the weight of the quiz times the quiz average plus the weight of the project times the project average divided by total weight. Now in this case my total weight is one. That's what I want, right? One, each, each of these are, if I turn these two percent to decimals and I add them up I get one. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my weights as 0.125 and a weight of 0.25 and a weight of 6.625. So let's calculate the grade. Okay, so my test is worth 62.5%. So I'm going to say 0.625 times the test average of 82%. Now I'm going to leave that as, I'm going to leave all my grades as a fraction of 100 because you want your grade at the end to be out of 100. But you could do it either way you want. Plus, the weight of the quiz is 0.25. Now, what is my grade out of 100 if I have 7 out of 10? Well, it's going to be the percent, so it's going to be equal to 7 divided by 10 times 100 equals 70. So that's my percent correct in the grade. I could write that out up there, but I'm just going to put 70 to save space. But that's how you, you got to get that into the same, these have to be the same format. And then down here I need to do the same thing. This is going to be 4 out of 5 times 100 as percent equals 80 percent. So I'm going to put plus 0.125 times 80. And then all of that divided by 1 because it all adds up to 1. And if I do that, I put that in my calculator, which I already did because I wanted to save time. 
Now I'm wasting time by talking about how I save time. Okay, so then I get 78.75. So that's my grade in the course. Okay, now let's do another situation because that does happen. Suppose you're not finished with the course and you want to calculate your grade. I haven't done the project. I've only completed the test and the quiz. What's my grade going to be? Well, if I haven't done the project, I can't average a project in. You could, of course, guess and say, I think I'm going to get this grade and put it in there. But if you're wrong, you're wrong. Okay, but let's just delete that. So what changes is now I, my total weight is not one. So my total weight, I'm going to get rid of that, I can get rid of that. Now my total weight is going to be uh, just these two add together, so that's 87.875, is that right? Yeah, 0.875. And then if I divide if I add this up and divide by 0.875, I get 78.57. So it's a little bit lower because I don't have that 80% grade to boost it up a little bit, but the project wasn't worth too much anyway, so it really didn't make that big of a difference. And this isn't your grade. I mean, this is the hard thing I have when people say, what's my grade? Well, you haven't done the project, so it's really kind of hard to determine what your grade is. This is your grade if we said there is no project, okay? This isn't your grade if you don't do the project. So it could be higher, it could be lower. Um, that's your grade so far. That's what people want at the midterm. Okay. Let's do one other thing. Let's say, what would I have to get on the project to get a B in the course, okay? So in that case, I'm going to say I, I know what the grade is going to be, and I don't know what the project is going to be. So let's write that out as an equation. I can just modify this one. I'm going to write this, write this right here so I have more room. So now I want the grade to be 80, and I want that to be the same, 0. 0.625 times 82 plus 0. 0.25. I'll erase this because, well, that's fine. 0. 0.25 times 70 plus uh, the weight of the quiz, which I just del deleted, which it was 0.125 times quiz, no, the project average. That's called P. And, I, and that's all divided by one because of all the grades. So now I just need to solve for P. So if I do that, I get P equals 80 minus 0.625 times 82 minus 0.25 times 70, all that divided by 0.125. Now, I'm not going to put that in my calculator. You can do that if you want. But I suspect it might be greater than 100%, which means you can't get a B. So, unless you get bonus points or something like that. So, but you can do that. Okay, the other way to find out what grade do I need to get the grade I want is say, I want to get an 80%, or just keep on manually changing that grade that you don't know yet until you get the grade you want. What if I get a 5? Let's just start with that. Put a 5 in there, see if I get an 80%. If I don't, then I can't get a B. But you can get a B if you keep working at it. Okay. That's your super short introduction to weighted grades. Have fun and do well in your finals.